hi guys you're welcome back to our channel today we are going to be learning how to make ayamase sauce this sauce is similar to a father sauce it is so easy and very tasty without wasting your time let's get started you're going to start by getting some off hours your cow off hours the intestine the roundabout the shaki you know those wicked animal parts now the liver you're going to season with your seasoning powder salt your onions add some water and you're going to cover and allow this to just boil we are trying to boil the off house for our sauce apart from this i'm also going to be using some goat meat use any protein of choice you guys i just brought this out from my freezer <laughs> it's still frozen i don't have time so i'm just boiling it like that salt seasoning powder same thing we use for the other one we are going to bring this to a boil this is a local sauce no need for your curry and then thyme just stick to the basic one now we're going to set it aside for this sauce we're going to be using just peppers no tomato only pepper and these are the pepper combination your red bell pepper green red bell pepper remove the seed from your pepper so that your sauce will not be bitter okay then apart from your bell peppers you're also going to be needing your scotch bonnet pepper ataro dough and of course your cayenne pepper they also call it shombo in a local market in nigeria green everything green go to your market tell them you want green peppers let them just give you everything green color and of course some onions and we are going to roughly chop this in a processor a blender whichever one that you have right so the difference between this sauce and ofada sauce according to what i have heard and i understand is that ofada sauce is a sauce that is made with a combination of red peppers red bell peppers scotch bonnets and all of that while ayamase is only green peppers okay so you can decide to mix the peppers mix red and green together or stick to just one color it's totally fine just use what you can get in your location the sauce is basically the same way the same thing the same ingredients the only difference is just the peppers so right now we are making ayamase sauce and our pepper is ready roughly chopped especially if you want that authentic look and taste just roughly chop your peppers you don't want a smooth blend okay we're going to set our peppers aside and now we're going to check on our beef no not beef goat meat use what you have anyway check on our protein it's been boiling for a while now and yes it is ready this is our goat meat we are going to set it aside we are also going to check on the other animal parts <laughs> our off house and then in that same pot i dropped in my pomo we are going to be using pomo for this sauce it's a loaded sauce dropped in my pomo and just allowed it to boil for maybe like five ten minutes and then take it out take our protein out okay and now we are going to cut this protein into smaller sizes so it's easy for us to fry and to eat so the reason why a lot of people like ofaza or ayamase sauce is because of those little chunks of your protein looking excited in your sauce and begging to be eaten by you so when you take a scoop of your rice paired with the sauce and the protein oh my god i love ayamase sauce anything of father or ayamase counts me in what about you do you like a father sauce do you like ayamase sauce let me know in the comment section so now we are done with our animal parts momo shaki and co set it aside now in a pot you're going to start by pouring some palm oil yes pour plenty palm oil don't worry the list of the ingredients will be in the description box so just check it and they were going to bleach this palm oil listen bleach your palm oil if you want that authentic and unique taste and the best way to do this is just to cover your pot for about 15 to 20 minutes or low it please and when the palm oil is looking clear you're going to leave your pot covered don't open it yet to turn off your heat leave it covered for like five minutes or five to ten minutes and then you can now open it and then pour in your protein see the way i'm pouring it in in a very demure way okay pour it in we're going to start by frying this our protein in our oil you don't want to skip this step it is so so important it's going to add a lot of flavor taste and aroma to your sauce so don't skip it you're going to fry and then till it is well fried and then you're going to scoop it out in that same oil Hmm. are you following get some onions 
chop it up and pour it in now you're going to get what they call locust beans they call it iru in our local market it's a local spice or condiment usually used by the yoruba people of nigeria to cook their meals their soups their sauces and this right here is one of their favorite and popular sauce ayamasi sauce you're going to pour it in right and you're going to fry it together with the onions in that same oil hey at this point your neighbors will come knocking they will be asking you ah, 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 what is happening in your house what is what is going on <laughs> because the aroma from frying this iru in your oil alone is so inviting now you can go ahead with your peppers pour in your peppers don't worry we are almost done okay and then you can season with your seasoning powder season with your salt and some crayfish powder very very important just regular crayfish grind into powder and that is it remember i said it's a local sauce so you don't need curry you don't need to add thyme no need for all those serene spices just stick to the basic ones and the list of the ingredients will be in the description box so you can check it and like i said before we have and offer that sauce recipe on this channel you can also check it out so back to our sauce after mixing together i'm going to pour the stock from the goat meat yes remember we boiled it earlier and yeah when i was dicing the other um, protein it was also part of it so this is the stock we're going to cover and allow the sauce to fry till you start seeing oil dancing happily on top now you're going to pour back everything you fried earlier mm -hmm. And then get some boiled eggs yes you're going to use your fork to insert holes in the eggs because you want the eggs to soak up the juice from the sauce Ooh! <laughs> and now you're going to mix together and your sauce is basically ready and good to go and by the way if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome on board my name is tosin and my goal is to help you become a better um cook so if you like recipes like this step by step simple recipes i would like to implore you to subscribe okay to get the first class access to our recipe and of course it is completely free thank you so much for subscribing anyway back to our sauce you guys our sauce is ready oh yeah police please look away okay this sauce needs oil to fry very well when you're done frying you can only scoop out the oil and yeah this is what we have the aroma is aroma in the taste is on point and because taste your sauce so to be able to know whether to add more seasoning add more salt remember you are in charge you are the chief chef of your kitchen and trust me with a recipe guide like this i know you will not miss it you will make me proud right so tell me of other sauce versus ayamasi sauce which one do you prefer let me know in the comment section now you can pair your sauce with your rice and enjoy please don't forget to ask your neighbors to bring their plates eh <laughs> thank you so much guys for watching i love you too bye guys